Hi, Mark Warnke here. Um, if you're watching this video, it's likely because you have some questions about your babies. And if so, I'm gonna answer those questions, but at the same time, remember, we have a full course available on packoats.com about how to raise a baby goat. We have how to milk a goat. Um, we have a birthing course that's coming out very soon, so it's likely of going to be available if you're watching this video. And everything else that you need to basically be a good goat owner. So I hope you find the following information helpful. One of the things that we, we run here on our farm is trying to figure out how to a bucket feed and feed free choice grain, alfalfa, and mineral to our babies and make sure that they have what they need without it being soiled by them and easy full-time access and to have it be simple, right? Um, with the cost of wood right now, uh, it made me think about other alternatives or I would have built something. The nice thing about babies, whether you have horns or no horns, is their horns are small enough to where you can feed the keyhole and the keyhole is really nice. So what I figured out, and this is, was like three freaking evolutions to get to this, the clear plastic ones suck. And you do have to get not the $12 one, but the $18 one that's a little more rigid because they bounce up and down. As you can see, this lid is cracking. Eventually, they've been breaking these in as they've grown. So I've gone to all the kind of the $18 to $22 models that are a little more rigid and, and functional. And because they're clear, I can cut out these keyholes with a, um, a, a, a jigsaw and it cuts out really nicely and works really well. And then what I do is I vary the height based on the size of the babies in the pen. Um, and the other thing, super easy to feed. It gives them a little play structure that they play and use on. And then the other thing is how do you keep these things upright? What I do is before I fill them, I cut out a little piece of plywood about this big and I run a big screw down through it and into the ground and it just holds this whole platform down now so you can see I can't pick this up and eventually they wobble it loose and I have to re-secure it but they go running at full blast and stop on it and then, so they're doing this all the time this one for example is still down to the ground and I just again I just put a little piece of plywood in the bottom run a screw down into the dirt when they break it loose, eventually this one, I'll move it to another spot, screw it in down again, and it's locked down. So this has been a super easy solution to free choice feed these guys and to have it function well where they're not laying in it and they're not spilling it and they're not eating off the ground and, and everything else. So hope you find that helpful.